store. We got, what do we get? Marshmallow, boy. We're going for trout. We learned that there is a, uh, they just released about 3,000 trout in the lake a couple days ago. So we're taking our opportunity, right? Yeah. Good times. See how it goes. We'll see how many we catch today. Why we use little red hooks? No. Because their mouths are small. Oh, true. So if you use too big of a hook, see how small this guy is? If you use too big of a hook, then it won't fit it in their mouths. So what our system is, we have a weight. It's gonna hit the bottom. And then we're gonna have a marshmallow. It's gonna make the corn float on top. So it's gonna be like this in the water. So instead of it being on the floor, everything, we're gonna have it floating here so the fish can swim around and get it. All right, let's get it set up. Sometimes the marshmallow is too big. We'll dig up half. And eat it. And eat it. So now I just put one or two on there. Just a nice bite-sized piece. What I like to do, Tested in the water. See if it falls apart. See if it floats. Oh yeah, floats. So what we do? See how it's floating right there on top? Yeah. That means I know when I put the weight down there, it's gonna float. Sometimes if I put it in here and it goes six down, then I know it's gonna just hit the floor and the fish aren't gonna see it. Oh, and we should uh, hit the spot over there. Show me your perfect cat. Don't go in the water, we're going home. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did over there, I fell in the water. All right, give it a throw. A light throw. You lost your you lost your marshmallow right there. Oh, come on. Yep. Test if it floats. All right, now drop it in. Sure. Cold! It's been about three minutes and William got his first bite. You wanna check your line, buddy? Probably did take it. We'll see. Oh, I see something over there. Alright, give it a try. That means there's something over there. So give it, give it another throw. Yeah. 